Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my new live swatches video. And um, if you didn't catch my channel updates video, um, I um, mentioned in that video that I wanted to do um, add a new series to my channel and it's basically um, to do live swatches, try to do live swatches of um, recent hauls um, because I know like with new collections that come out, those are going to be the the polishes that people want to see polish reviews or live swatches of sooner. And because I have so many polishes and I only change my polishes about twice a week, it's hard to actually be able to get through enough of them in a relatively quick time period. So what I decided that I would do is when I'm changing my polish, getting ready to redo my uh, manicure or whatever, I decided what I would do is from recent hauls, just do some live swatches of some of the polishes that I hauled. And um, I don't have any swatch wheels or anything like that. And then that's just another thing I got to store and keep track of. And I don't like the wheels because they're too small to write on the name and the brand of the polish. And again, even if I buy the sticks that give you more room, that's still something. I, dogs outside. Um, anyway, that's still something I have to store and organize and keep up with. So I'm thinking that, um, so I'm going to start off trying just doing live swatches, um, just because it's something that's probably going to be easier. Um, not necessarily quicker just because I, after I do the swatches, I'm going to take them off and then do my manicure, depending on if I've already decided on the color or not for, but for today, I've already got my, my idea for my polish for today. So anyway, let me go ahead and, um, get set up and then I will be right back to do, oh, let me tell you which polishes I'm gonna be swatching today. So, um, since this is a recent, a newly released collection, it's just a drugstore brand. This is just the um, new Wet n Wild Mega Last collection. It's not the entire collection, I picked up four. So the polishes that I'm going to be um, just swatching today, um, this one is called Candid Affair. It is a shimmery, um, lilac. This next one is called Valet Tag and it is also a shimmery kind of neutral taupe tan color. And then the next color is called Champagne Toast which is like a shimmery type of tanny gold, tannish gold. And then the last one that I have here is called Silver Lining and this is like a um, silver with some kind of purplish or lilac iridescent shimmer in there. So those are the four colors I'm going to be swatching today. Um, I think next time I might do a couple of the orally polishes. I'm not really sure. Maybe orally and finger paints. I'm not really sure. But if you have any suggestions or ones that you want to see very, very soon, please just leave a comment below. So let me get set up. Okay, so I've already just got a, a base coat applied and I just used this Nail Envy just for now since so I'm going to take this right off. So I'm just going to apply, um, do two coats, show you the first coat, let it dry, then come back and do a second coat so you can see the difference between how they look with one versus two coats or if it needs three coats. So I'm just going to start off going from... I guess kind of darker to lighter, I, I don't know. So I'm going to start off with this um, silver lining first. I'm just going to apply this on my index finger as um, I normally would apply my nail polish. And this one is looking like it might be kind of sheer, although I don't think I got that much on my brush. And these brushes seem even kind of bigger. Than the other ones are more fuller or something. It just seems slightly different. Sorry, gotta get a little bit more light. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Again, this one is silver lining. And again, these are like the perfect brushes. Yeah, this one is fairly sheer going on with the first coat, especially if you have really white tips. Like it looks much more opaque toward the base of the nail, but toward the tip, 
from the top view it looks really really sheer so this one is going to be one that's definitely a two coater but i will say it does apply really nicely the brush brush fans out perfectly and um, very little mess now this one's looking a little bit more promising color wise and this one is called candid affair these brushes are like really really soft but really really densely packed so it just gets into the cuticle area like just perfectly I love these brushes I wish all polishes could make these brushes now I don't know if that's the brush or if that's the actual formula but it's kind of streaky and it feels like the brush is kind of concaving a little bit I don't know I mean yeah I think this might be the bristles on this one if you can see this one is like really really streaky and it kind of wiped off I'll do a close-up once I get all four of them applied so the next one that I'm going to be applying is Valet Tag. And I have shaken all these in my shaker prior to starting recording. This one's much more opaque. This one seems so far as the most opaque out of all of them. This one goes on really nicely. And again, I think it just might be the bristles. They do seem slightly different than the other Mega Last brushes. The curve, the shape is the same, but these just, the bristles just seem a little bit different. So I think it's the actual bristles that are wiping off the polish. So if you do try these, I would say you need to be kind of careful with how much pressure you apply. And the last color that I'm going to be applying is called Champagne Toast. And this one, I'm pretty sure is gonna require multiple coats at least two possibly three depending upon how you plan to wear this one if you plan on wearing it alone and not doing any type of stamping or nail art now this is where it gets tricky because my oh this one's actually more opaque than I had expected it goes on pretty nicely now that one's pretty opaque oddly enough the two colors that I thought would be the lightest are actually the most opaque so we have champagne toast on my pinky finger valet tag on my ring finger and um, what is this one candid affair on my middle finger here and then um, silver lining on my index finger so as you can see um, silver lining is pretty sheer but is not really streaky candid affair is extremely patchy and streaky and I'm not sure if that's just the brush um, valet tag is actually really really nice it's a little sheer but it's actually really nice and um, champagne toast because like many metallic type ones you can see the brush strokes really really clearly so hopefully the second coat will fix that so I'm going to um, let this first coat dry and then come back and apply a second coat okay so my first coat has dried and I'm going to apply my second coat so this one is silver lining It does get a little more opaque, but again, at the um, tip of the nail, it still does seem fairly sheer with the second coat, so this might be one that might require a third coat. And this next one is um, Candid Affair, the purple one here. Let me go ahead and apply that one. 
Now this one is much more opaque in just two coats, so you can get get by with two coats of this one, depending upon how patchy and streaky the second, the lot, the first coat was. It covers it up some. I can still see it, a little bit of sheerness right here in the middle, but it's not bad, and especially consider I'm gonna do. I would do stamping most likely over this. That that wouldn't actually bother me. The third color I'm doing is valet tag. And this third second coat is much, much more opaque and just absolutely gorgeous. I would have to say I think this one, Valet Tag, is probably my favorite of the four. The only thing about this pearlescent one, which is called Champagne Toast, is the brush strokes are very very visible on the first coat it looks like it's kind of oh damn i just touch it um so kind of um it kind of gets rid of the brush strokes on the second coat so they're not as bad as the first coat um the first coat was so um i'm extremely pleased with um, valet tag and champagne toast. They go on, the formulas to me go on much better, aren't streaky or patchy. Um, Candid Affair seemed very streaky, and then um, Silver Lining is just kind of sheer. If you don't have a lot of net free edge, then you could actually do fine with just the one coat. Uh, two coats of Candid Affair, I'm sorry, um, Silver Lining, but as you can see, you can clearly see the tip of my nail through that color. So, um, very, very pleased. I mean, overall, I would say the formulas aren't horrible at all. I did see someone post like a, like a mini review on Instagram and mentioned that... Um, valet tag was gloopy now i don't know if that could be you know the if the shaker makes a difference or not because i did shake all of mine mine didn't seem gloopy or thick at all so i did apply a third coat which helps it much much better on silver lining um let me do a third on this purple one just to see how different the color change will be So, Candid Affair and Silver Lining, I feel like, looks much, much better with three coats. Um, actually, I would say I could do a fourth on Silver Lining because you can still see the tip of my nail. Like, to me, it seems almost, it's not extremely clear as it was on the second and first and second coats, but I still can see enough of it. Um, with a third coat. Candid Affair, which is here on my middle finger, that is perfect, I feel like, with the third coat. Um, Valet Tag looks absolutely great with two coats, and so does um, Champagne Toast, which is here on my pinky finger. So, of the four, my favorites would be valet tag which is um the kind of shimmery neutral brownish color um because it had absolutely no application issues whatsoever um no streaky no patchiness this one it goes on perfectly it, it goes on great it's a great formula only problem is that um the first coat is you can see the brush strokes extremely well the second coat does minimize the brush strokes but you they are still visible on the second coat um again candid affair looks much much better with three coats it looks nice with two but this third coat i think really just made this one look absolutely fabulous and um, my least favorite of the four is silver lining because it is, if you have free edge, a lot of free edge like I do, and if your free edge is extremely white like mine or opaque or whatever like mine is, um, that's going, I would say that would be an issue 
But if you have shorter nails and don't really have any free edge or if your tips are more clear than mine are, then um, you could get away with the three coats of um, silver lining. I would probably feel like if I was wearing this by itself, I would feel like I would have to do a fourth coat just because I would not want to be able to see the tip of my nail through it. So, absolute favorite valet tag. Perfect, perfect formula, perfect everything. Two coats, looks absolutely stunning. My second favorite color payoff would be Candid Affair, but you need three coats. The third coat just makes it look absolutely stunning. Third would be Champagne Toast, um, which is this color. I don't generally go for these type of colors. This is like a pearlescent like a kind of eggshell almost but with a little bit more of a gold hue not a gold gold but has like some gold undertones to it and then again my least favorite is silver lining so hopefully this was helpful let me know what you think about the live swatches if you want me to continue doing them this way um i don't have any swatch wheels or anything so i will keep doing them this way for now i don't know if i'm going to be purchasing any but um, so yeah, that is my live swatch reviews of the Wet n Wild Mega Last. I guess is this is their spring collection. I'm not sure if there was a name, but so that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye.